Hello, Girl Scouts. Hi and welcome. I'm Miss Melissa of Conjo, and this is another week of Girl Scouts Love Yoga, the virtual programming. Um, I have to apologize. I thought I had turned something off on my computer. You might hear some dings, so please ignore that if you hear it. Sorry, friends. Uh, but we are going to have class today. Um, I'm checking time here because there's all different time zones out there. It's 4 p.m. Central Standard Time or Daylight Savings Time where I'm at. So we're starting at 4. We'll end by 4.30 for sure. Uh, I had put out a request on the event page just asking um, parents to ask their Girl Scouts what they wanted. And the theme that got the most votes was Goofy Yoga Games. So that's going to be our class for today. Okay. Um, and so be ready to be goofy with me and do some games. But before we begin, I always start this way and I always end this way by thanking Girl Scouts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Lakes and Pines. They are the ones who are making this programming happen with me. Um, they're the ones who are bringing it out um, to Girl Scouts for free. And so I'm so thankful for that partnership. And I'm so thankful to have this time with you each week. So if you are a Girl Scout member already, so happy to hear that. Um, if you're watching this and you're interested in Girl Scouts, I encourage you to check out the programs that are out there. Um, if you're near me, uh, you're maybe in the Lakes and Pines region, check them out, okay? So let's go ahead and we're just going to get into the game. So we're actually going to start even our breath work today with a game. So I'm going to ask you to go and find a spot where you're going to be able to get down into a rock pose or even um, a child's pose is sometimes what it's called in adult yoga. But we're going to start today uh, to get into rock pose. I'll coach us through it. We have our knees apart, and they can be as far apart or as close together as feels good in your body. Um, I have to yell at my naughty kitten for a second. Olivia, she's about to eat some cords. So we might have Olivia join us because she's playing playful too. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down into rock pose. So our hands are going to come out in front of us. And then our forehead is going to go towards the mat. So we're going to start here with our breath. And we're just going to breathe in and out and not change anything. Just notice how we're feeling. So settle into our own bodies, our own minds, and our own hearts. And just take a moment to welcome yourself to yoga class. Maybe you need to let go of something. Maybe you need to notice something and acknowledge something. So whatever that is, just take a moment for yourself in your own rock pose. And then from here, we're going to move into balloon breath. So our starting point for balloon breath is going to be rock pose, okay? And what we're going to do as we take breath in, so we take breath into our body as we inhale, we're going to imagine that we're a balloon filling with air. So we're gonna take multiple inhales before we let the air out of our bodies and out of our balloons. And typically it takes about three breaths in to get to standing. So we're gonna do the full expression today and come all the way up to standing as we take our breaths, okay? So follow along, we're gonna first start with our foreheads towards the mat and we're gonna start with our first breath. So we're gonna take one breath in, Good, let's take another breath in. Take the last breath in as big as you can. And then deflate down to the ground. Good. It's a little hard for me to teach and take breath in at the same time. But you can just watch and listen to my cues, okay? So here we go. Let's go back to our rock pose and let's start with our balloon. We go for one breath, two breaths, three breaths. Deflate it down. Good. Snuggle into your rock pose for a moment. Take a moment to relax. And let's do that again. So now, instead of counting, I'm just going to take breaths in, and you'll hear that in my own body. So that'll be your cues to do it along with me. Okay, here we go. 
Let it go. And now to just feel it a little bit different, this is going to be our last balloon breath before we go to our next thing. Instead of coming all the way up to our feet, let's feel different in our bodies. And this time when we do a balloon breath, let's just, our full expression this time is we're going to be on our knees, okay? We're not going to come up to our feet. Okay, good. Let's start back down in our rock pose. Take a breath in and a breath out to center us. And here we go. One breath, two breath, three breath. Deflate it down. Good. So from here, let's go ahead and do a few stretches here. So let's come up, and I'm going to name these poses as we do them. And that will help us in our yoga game, okay? So the first pose here is on our hands and knees. This is tabletop. Our next pose is going to be cow pose. So we do this one a lot in class where we drop our bellies, we lift our gaze, and think about your belly being that big cow belly. Good. The next pose is going to be an opposite pose to this where we arch our backs like a cat. So this is called cat pose. Our gaze goes towards maybe our belly button. And if we really push into our hands, we'll maybe feel that stretch, be able to feel it between our shoulder blades. And that can be heavy, okay? So come back to tabletop. Good. Let's drop our bellies, go to cow pose. Nice. Let's round our backs for cat pose. Good. Tabletop. Good. Rock pose. Good. Tabletop. Good. Okay, let's add another pose in here. Uh, just a reminder, some of us maybe know this or it's new. Either way is good. We're going to go into dog pose or downward facing dog pose. So before we go into this, let's go ahead and walk our hands a little bit more forward. This is going to help a little bit with the proportions in our body. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lift our bums up in the air and back. We're going to push our hips back to make that V shape like a dog with their tail up in the air. So you can wiggle out your dog tail if you want, but see what that feels like and then come back down to tabletop. Good job. You may, maybe need to move your hands like I do to have them underneath your shoulders. And let's go back into rock pose. Good. Let's come back up to tabletop. And now I'm going to face you, and now I'm going to explain our first yoga game, okay? So for this yoga game, it is called Yogi Sets. So if you've ever played Simon Says, it will be uh, a similar thing to you. Um, but if Yogi says to do something, you do it. Uh, if I cue something and I don't preface it by saying Yogi Says, then same as Simon says, you try to pause and not do it, okay? I'm going to try to trick you because it's a game. And second, I do just want to take a moment and explain what is a yogi. So a yogi is someone who does yoga. So if you're watching this, you're a yogi. You're doing yoga, okay? So that's all it means. All right, so let's begin. And I'm going to start with some cues and kind of warm us up. So yogi says, sit on your knees. Yogi says, sit up a little bit straighter and taller. Yogi says, put one hand on your head. Yogi says, put the other hand on your belly. Good. Now go ahead and tap your belly and rub your head. Oh, Yogi didn't say that. Did I trick you? Maybe. Okay. Uh, Yogi says, bring your hands down by your sides. Yogi says, go into tabletop position. I'm pausing just to see if you remember what tabletop was. But Yogi did say that. So let's go into tabletop position. Okay. Yogi says, rock pose. Yogi says, cat pose. Good. Now let's do the opposite. Let's do cow pose. Uh-oh, did you do cow pose? Yogi didn't say. Okay, let's all do cow pose. Yogi says cow pose. Yogi says um, rock pose. 
Yogi says tabletop. Yogi says down dog. Yogi says tabletop. Yogi says down dog. Yogi says down dog. Okay, let's go to rock pose. Uh oh, Yogi didn't say rock pose. Are you still in down dog? Is it getting tough? Do you want to keep going? This is really silly to ask this to a screen, but I'm excited to hear from you later how it went. Okay, Yogi says come down to rock pose if you're still in down dog. So Yogi says join me in rock pose. Yogi says take a big breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Yogi says come up to tabletop. Nice. Yogi says, reach one arm forward. Feel your strength. Good. Yogi says, bring that arm back down onto the floor. Nice. Yogi says, lift your other arm forward and straight. Feel your strength. Good. Yogi says, bring your arm down. Yogi says, Try to remember what side you started on with your arm. And Yogi says lift the leg on that side now. So have it come back nice and straight. Feel your strength. If you would like, you can lift up the opposite hand and see if you can make a straight line. Uh-oh, Yogi didn't say that. Okay, go ahead and give it a try if you want. So feel that stretch. Okay, Yogi says come out of that. Shake it off if you need to. Yogi says shake it off. Okay. Yogi says lift. So we're going to switch legs. So Yogi says lift the opposite leg than you did last time. Feel your strength. Yogi says lift the other hand if you choose. This is an option to feel that balance. Yogi says come out out of it. Good. Uh, let's bring our feet together and let's go back into rock pose. Uh-oh. Yogi says come back into rock pose. Nice. Yogi says bring your forehead to the mat and just relax in your rock pose for a few breaths on your own time. Nice. Yogi says come up out of your pose. Yogi says that game is done. Okay, Miss Melissa back. Um, I hope you had fun with the yogi. Uh, Yogi is really bossy, isn't she? Just kidding. She's not bossy. She is kind and informative and a little sassy. Yes, yes, she is. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go into another game. And for this game, we're actually going to come up to standing. This game is a really fun game to play with friends. And I'm just sitting here for a moment as I explain it. But we're gonna do a game around tree pose. And I just wanna preface that this is the last game we're gonna play. We're gonna do a little bit more movement to get some energy out before we go ahead and relax, okay? And then after relaxation, we will have time where I'll come closer to the screen and check comments. Miss Hannah will check comments for the Girl Scouts video, okay, their video stream. And we'll have some time to say hi to each other, okay? So let's go ahead and do our last game, which is called If I Were a Tree. So for this game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do tree pose and show off a silly tree of our own. So I'm gonna teach tree pose first, just to give us a good basis and grounding for, um, for the pose, and then we can put our expression on it. So go ahead where you're at and find balance in one leg and think about that leg being a sturdy tree trunk. Your other leg, you can make a little kickstand with your feet, so have your toes onto the floor, your heel towards your leg, and find some balance. So this right here is tree pose. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate on my other side. I encourage you to do that on your body too so you get some balance. Find that strength in one leg, have the kickstand in the other. And you might see some expressions of tree pose where the leg and the arms are at different places. So there are different options for your arm where you can grow your limbs. There's also options where you can carry your leg 
your leg, carry your foot up your leg, sorry. I'm not great with words at the moment, it seems like. Okay, so there's some options there. But here's how the game goes. There's a saying that you say, and usually when I play this in a group, I preface by first you say your name, and then you say the saying. It goes, if I were a tree, I wouldn't look like me, I would look like, and then you show your expression of however you want for a silly tree pose, okay? And then who's ever with you, what I typically say is I then invite our friends with us to, to do that expression of tree pose. So if I was in a room with you, I would do my tree pose, and then we all would do my version of tree pose, and then we'd go to the next person, okay? So it's really fun to play, and you can play it with your siblings, maybe your troop members, maybe your mom, um, but it's really fun to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with you today, and I'm gonna do it on each side, so you can try to do my tree pose. And then what I would love is if you wanna do your own expression, I'll leave time for that too, okay? So here's how it goes. It goes, I'm Melissa. If I were a tree, I wouldn't look like me. I would look like... <sighs> okay, see if you can do that expression. Okay, good. Whew. All right. Um, I'll do it again, and I'm going to do the other side. So I encourage you to switch sides just to get that balance. Okay. My name's Melissa, and if I were a tree, I wouldn't look like me. I would look like... Do you want to try that? Oh, maybe move it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, kind of a silly trick. All right, so I'll end this game, and I'm going to say it one more time, and you can say it along with me at home and do your expression of tree pose, okay? So first you say your name. Hi, I'm... If I were a tree, I wouldn't look like me. I would look like... Cool! I wish I could see the video and see what your tree pose look like. <sighs> Maybe we'll have to ask for pictures, huh? Maybe? Okay, let's go ahead, Girl Scouts, and let's prepare to kind of rest our body since we just did some of those games. So I'm gonna move a little closer to the camera. And for our relaxation today, we're gonna do a guided relaxation. And we are going to do one called I'm a Rainbow. So wherever you at, go ahead and relax. You're welcome to lay on maybe your back, your side. You're welcome to be seated. Your eyes can be open or closed. I do suggest if your eyes are open, maybe soften your gaze a little bit so you're not distracted from maybe looking at the camera or looking at things around you, but see if maybe you can have this moment to just be with yourself as you listen to my voice. And then we'll all come together and say hello to each other, okay? All right. I'm going to relax my own body as I read. So give me a moment. Let's prepare ourselves. Close your eyes. Breathe and rest. As if you're falling asleep, let go of all thoughts. Just feel your breath. I'll wait for everyone to settle, sigh and melt, release any wiggles, giggles, movement and tension. When you're silent and still, I'll know that you're ready to listen. All right, with every breath, you become more and more relaxed. Great. In your imagination, you begin walking down a beautiful path. A storm is just clearing, and in the sky in front of you is a full, beautiful rainbow. You are able to go and stand right underneath its arch. As you do, you hear it softly singing these words. Red, I'm strong. Orange, I'm joyful. Yellow, I'm confident. Green, I'm caring. Blue, I tell the truth. Indigo, I'm smart. Violet, 
I'm understanding. I am a rainbow. The rainbow's words and warm, colorful light fill you with a relaxed feeling. You are happy and peaceful. You are centered and experience your connection to all life. Soak in the colors and feel the power. You're a rainbow too. Now it's time to come back to the room. You can gently begin to wiggle your fingers or your toes. Take any final stretches that feel good to you on your back or your side. And when you're ready, I ask that you come back to a comfortable seated position and maybe face towards the screen again. Good. Okay. So before we jump into some hellos, we'll look at comments and do some announcements. Let's end our time together. So for this, um, I'm going to ask you to think back on that relaxation and think about those colors that I just said, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and read them again. But what I'm going to ask you to do as we end class is listen to these colors and see if one of those colors really connects. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is a lot of times we end class and say peace or love to each other. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna end class and we're gonna say the color that we were feeling most today, okay? All right, so these were the colors again and the um, adjectives that went with them. So red, I'm strong. Orange, I'm joyful. Yellow, I'm confident. Green, I'm caring. Blue, I tell the truth. Indigo, I'm smart. Violet, I'm understanding. I'm a rainbow. Okay, so pick one of those colors. Think about it for a moment. I have to think about my color. Hmm. Okay, so let's in class together. So we're on the count of three. Let's maybe put our hands to our hearts just as a way to say like thank you to ourselves and to our Girl Scout friends who are watching with us. We're going to take a breath in and a breath out to end class. So big breath in and out. Good. And on the count of three, let's say our color aloud. If you want to express it in your body, you can. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, orange. Cool. Okay. So let's go to comments. If you want to stick around, I'll leave this video going for a couple more minutes. Um, but I do want to say if you're watching on Girl Scouts of Minnesota Lakes and Pines, uh, my good friend and partner in this, Hannah, should be monitoring those comments and saying hi to you. If you're watching on Conjo, um, that's with me. That's my business. So that's the video I'm watching. Um, I'll see your comments there and say hi. Uh, what other announcements do I want to say? I want to say this is great. I love Tuesdays with Girl Scouts. If you are interested in this, I would definitely say um, come back. We're doing it again on Tuesdays. On Thursdays, we do a little bit different program. That's for a little bit older of girls. This is more of an all ages class. So if you have an older Girl Scout in your home or know a little bit older Girl Scouts, middle school to high school age, um, definitely maybe gear that Thursday class is geared to them. So maybe um, that might be a good fit for some friends of yours. And I always end by saying thank you to Girl Scouts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Lakes and Pines for being a partner. And let's go ahead. So for comments, you can tell us where you're watching from, but I thought a fun comment would be if you had a color that you wanted to share, uh, what color stood out for you, go ahead and let us know. Um, if you are a family that likes to take pictures and you want to share with the group, um, you definitely can take pictures. If you tag both of us, um, the Conjo in the Girl Scouts Lakes and Pines, we'll be able to see that or put it in the event. I saw some people did that last week and that warmed our hearts and was so great. Um, but I do want to go back and just say I see an Ellie. Um, who loved my shirt. And thank you, Ellie. I love my shirt too, and I'd love to show it off. So we've got the Girl Scout unicorn that Lakes and Pines really likes to use, and we have a yoga unicorn on our stuff. And then I think the back talks about joining Girl Scouts. 
if memory serves me right, but it's hard to have eyes through my back. Um, so I love my shirt too. And let's see, Doris, it looks like you and your Girl Scout are having fun learning. Um, I'm having fun teaching, so that is so great to hear. Um, and it looks like we've got someone from California here who just commented, um, that must be Ellie's mom. So hi, all the way out in California. I know uh, we actually have a lot of Girl Scouts who are watching around the country and not just Lakes and Pines members which um, is a little unexpected and so cool. Uh, so when we started this program, we didn't really um, think that it was gonna go farther than Minnesota and Wisconsin, and it's been really cool to have this time with Girl Scouts all across the country, and of course, time with the Lakes and Pines Girl Scouts. Um, I see someone else commenting, um, Helena, hi. Um, I love that your color was red. We've got some red, some blues. Um, the name of the story, that was a question. So the name of the story is called I'm a Rainbow, and that comes from the yoga school that I learned with called Yoga Ed. So that's part of the Yoga Ed curriculum is the word I'm trying to say. Um, so that's a guided relaxation from, from the Yoga Ed toolkit, but it's called I'm a Rainbow. Um, it looks like we've got someone from Germantown, Wisconsin. So hi, Mia, and you're orange. That's so cool. I'm so happy to have you here. And um, yeah, so I know that uh, there's probably lots more comments over on another video. And I know Miss Hannah is always busy uh, liking and saying hi to those, and I'll sneak over there after this. But I'll go ahead and end class here. So we'll go ahead and end the video. But just a final thank you. I hope you have a great day, and I hope those yoga games were fun. So I'd love to hear if you play them later in the day. Maybe you're bored, or maybe you want to teach them to a friend. That's what I'm here for. Uh, you don't need me to do yoga. You are all yogis yourself. So you can always do poses at home or games at home, and you can always teach your friends and loved ones so they can learn to do yoga with you too, okay? All right. I miss Melissa with Conjo. Thank you for coming. Thanks for Girl Scouts Lakes and Pines for having me. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week. Bye Girl Scouts.